keeping a pedal tone down. Like yeah. a lot of that, like when we learn pedal tone stuff in guitar, we end up putting it the pedal tone on the bottom and we end up doing things like this. Uh, we end up doing that kind of thing, right? So with like the chicken picking thing, you're doing the opposite where you're putting the pedal tone on the top. So like if we were going to do what? Uh, G, G7. There, there, I've got the pedal tone on each side, actually. But you can do it with just on the bottom. And I'm doing a ghost note. And that's like se uh, 7, 7, 3, 1, 5. 7, 3, 1. And so what's really important about this is learning that shape, that grip here. It's the same grip. It's the same grip. You know, that's the really important part of it is looking at when you learn something on a two string set, if it's on the B and E, the G and D, or the A and E, you immediately have got it in three other octaves. You guys get you guys get that? Everybody nod if you get that or, or shake your head if you don't get it. Right? So like if I play immediately I know I can play it right here without even having to do anything to my hand and here right it's like one three five one three five one three five and i never had to do anything different to my hand you see what i'm saying so it's like one three five you go to the next root one three five you go to the next root one three five that's also here those tricks will help you play things if you ever wanted to learn the ralph macchio part the that thing If it, you know what I'm talking about, the Crossroads thing. Anybody ever seen that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, those are tricks that help me play that stuff. You know, so I'm playing one, three, five, one, three, five, one. Yeah. That, that's a nice one right there. We're playing minor arpeggio, playing one, three, one, minor, three, five. And you see what's happening right there is like knowing that if I'm going from this, my next jump will be cramming my middle finger to the fret that my pinky was on. This action is so high. It's ridiculous. I love it. But it's really hard to play. So those are the, those are the ideas. It's, it's, it's really simple stuff. You're only messing with the harmony. The simple version is, it doesn't matter what key you're in. Let's say D major. One, three, five, one. Now that means I can play, right? So I can immediately know without thinking that that's here. And now if that's there, then it's here, right? That's how I get through all the all three of those so quickly. You ever hear guys that can just play a ton of notes and it only looks like they move that far? That's how they're doing it. Hmm. So as much crap as that was, all I ever played over and over again was this. All of those little, it's like, Here's D. So four, right? Same thing. Down the root, then seven. Same thing. Same thing. You know, 